the basic idea of string theory is pretty straightforward. Back even from the time of the ancient Greeks, we've been trying to figure out what stuff is made of, what matter is made of. You know, if you take anything at all, say a piece of wood, cut it in half, cut that piece in half, keep on slicing into ever smaller pieces, the fundamental question is, what are the basic elementary uncuttable constituents that that process leads you to? Now, we have certainly learned in our age that if you cut far enough, you get the things that we know about, the molecules, the atoms, and the subatomic particles that make up the atoms. Is that the end of the line? String theory says no. It says that the fundamental particles that we know about today, particles like electrons and quarks and neutrinos, it says that each of those particles actually has at least one finer level of structure inside of it. If you were to look closely inside an electron, closely inside a quark, or inside of any of the particles we know of, string theory says you'd see something else. The something else is a little tiny filament, it's a little filament of energy. And that little filament can vibrate. It looks string-like, so it looks like a vibrating string. That's where the, I, the name string theory comes from. And just as the string on a, a violin or a cello, when you pluck it, it vibrates and it creates different musical notes. The little strings in string theory, when they vibrate, they don't produce different musical notes. They produce different kinds of particles. So the idea is an electron is a string vibrating in one pattern, maybe a C sharp. A quark is a string vibrating in a different pattern, maybe an A flat. That's the basic idea of string theory.